Hey everyone. So we made a decision and I decided to let my work know that I would be disenrolling Arlington so that I could stay home and make sure that my older two kids are doing what they need to do with their schoolwork and also just to follow the guidelines of staying away from large groups of people. Um, in my opinion, there's just a lot of children and people coming in and out of the daycare centers. And I know that they're really trying to keep up with sanitizing and they are doing the best job that they can possibly do. You know, they're really trying to support those families whose parents are doctors or nurses or, um, you know, uh, police officers, people who have to be out there working. So the daycare is really trying to accommodate those people and I can fully understand that. But for my family, like I said, my specific preschool classroom is closed down because the public schools are closed down. So for us, I just felt like the best decision was for us to stay home and sort of ride this whole situation out as best as we can. I know that certain daycares are kind of waving their no electronic policies for the children so that the kids can bring in their laptops and get school work done. However, my concern with that is that they possibly, I don't know for sure, may not be 100% ready to take on what those children actually need to be doing for school. Um, I just got an email from my daughter's teacher saying that, and I think that this is what I'm understanding, is that they're going to be doing some sort of like live sort of FaceTime procedure with the kids and, hey baby cakes, mm. and the kids are going to have to mm. sign in and participate mm. in a morning meeting as well as <laughs> an afternoon meeting. Sorry guys, We're filming inside of Arlie's little tent today because that's where she wanted to play for a few minutes and... So yeah, so that's where we are. Um, but anyway, yeah, so they have to, they're gonna have to sign in to be counted in for attendance for a morning meeting and an afternoon meeting. And that's aside from all the work that they're gonna have to be doing online and through uh, digital learning. So I'm not sure that every school is doing using the same apps for this. And I just don't know that some of these daycare centers are gonna be ready to handle like all these different grade levels, making sure that the children are doing what they're supposed to be doing. I don't know, I could be totally wrong on that. Maybe they are ready to go. But anyway, it doesn't matter because since I am not working, my class isn't there, I'm just going to stay home and make sure that they're getting done what they need to get done. So I guess in the coming days, we will be showing you some of the things that we are doing and that my kids are going to be doing online. Uh, I plan on posting videos as to what I'm doing with the baby to keep her stimulated and active through all of this staying home business. Um, well, one thing I wanted to mention was that in our county, the school systems, I think that this, this is amazing and great, um, in order to keep some of the bus drivers employed and some of the, um, the cafeteria workers employed, they are doing what they're calling meals on big wheels and they are providing breakfasts and lunches for free for all children in 
the county. It doesn't matter if they ride the bus. It doesn't matter if they are a car rider, a walker. It doesn't matter. All children are included. They want to make sure that children who are home are being fed because one of the big concerns with closing the schools is that a lot of the kids rely on school meals for their nutrition. Um, you know, there's a lot of, unfortunately, you know, like underprivileged kids out there who may not, their parents may not be able to afford to get um, groceries and things like that. And so they really do depend on the school meals for, you know, getting their breakfast and lunch. And so I think that this is a wonderful program. And I will show you today um, what we get from the bus. Oh, here comes the bus. All right, guys, here comes the bus. Okay, my favorite go-to shots of me pushing the baby back. Um, our bus that delivered the meals yesterday was actually running a little bit early, so we missed them. But another bus came around, so we were able to catch them and we got some meals and when we get back to the house I will show you what we got. So we missed the first bus but we chased down another bus and we were able to get their breakfast and lunches. Um, now I'm gonna be honest we don't necessarily absolutely need this stuff but here's the thing this program and the food has already been paid for and there are children out there who rely on school lunches, like I said before, for, for their meals. And so um, I was talking to a few other moms. We all agree, if people are not taking advantage of this and people are not utilizing this program, that it could be pulled. And then those children who need that food are not going to get it. It's also, as I said before, supporting the teacher assistants who in our county work as the bus drivers, and it is supporting the cafeteria workers and is keeping those people employed. So we are going to continue to get the lunches from the Meals on Big Wheels and just support the community all over. So that's what we're doing, and we actually just found out from this bus driver that tomorrow, because tomorrow is Friday, they are actually going to be supplying meals, not just for tomorrow, but for the entire weekend, which again, fantastic for those children who rely on the food. So um, we're gonna go inside, I'm gonna show you what we got. All right guys, so today they each got their own sacks of food, and I'll show you what they got. So for lunch today, they each get an applesauce, a juice box, a really nice, look at this, a chicken sandwich, and for breakfast tomorrow, they have already wrapped up, let's see, they have a cinnamon roll and another juice box. And we could have taken a milk, but since my kids don't eat or they don't drink dairy, we decided not to take the milk and leave that for somebody else. We also, it seems like, oh, and carrots. So that was for part of the lunch. So this is just, like I said, a really great program, supporting everybody, supporting the community, really good thing. The food's not gonna go to waste. My kids will definitely eat it. And yeah, I just wanted to show you, you know, there are people out there who are trying and they're doing the right thing. So that is fantastic and we're going to continue to support it. All right, guys, that's it for now and stay tuned for more videos on what we're going to do throughout this whole stay at home situation and we will see you soon and don't forget to hi, say blow kisses, say mwah. No, you can't eat the people. Say mwah. Little kisses. Say mwah. Say bye bye from Arlie. Mwah.
Thank you. Good job. Um, yeah, so just stay tuned for other videos and uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. We'll see you soon.